Hi there, I'm State Senator Patrick Teston, and I want to talk to you about some of the highlights that we incorporate in the state budget that is going to directly benefit rural areas of the state. So the budget that we just uh, passed in the, in the legislature at the end of June makes key investments in areas such as broadband expansion. Now, last budget, I worked with Senator Mark Lyon and Representative Romaine Quinn to put in a provision that would expand broadband expansion grants by $22 million. In this budget, we upped that to $44 million. In the last seven years, because of these broadband expansion grants, we have connected over 4,000 businesses and over 75,000 households. We want to make sure that no matter where you live in the state of Wisconsin, you have access to high-speed internet because it is no longer a luxury. It is considered part of our infrastructure in today's day and age. And we want to make sure that our small businesses, our farms, our teachers, our students have the ability to connect and so that they don't fall behind as well. Now, we also created the 8.8 .8 million investment for the Dairy Hub Initiative. What this is going to do, it's going to directly help our dairy farmers who have been struggling in recent years. We have lost 49% of our small dairy farms in the last 15 years, and this Dairy Hub is going to help create new products and hopefully expand new markets for our dairy farmers. Just last week, I was with a small dairy farmer in Portage County. He talked about the potential benefits that this will have, not just for his operation, but for dairy farms throughout the state. We want to make sure that our small dairy farms don't become a relic of the past and that they can continue to thrive and grow right here in the Badger State. We also were able to incorporate a provision to ensure that our industrial hemp program remains viable. We have been extremely successful in the last two years to see this program explode to the point where we have over 1,400 growers and over 700 processors signed up. So the provision is going to create more staff at the Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection to put in staff to monitor this program and ensure its viability and future success. We also made significant investments into our infrastructure. We have heard from counties and towns throughout the state, especially in rural areas, just fix it. So we did just that, over $320 million in the rehabilitation program. And we also made a $90 million investment to help our local roads get to where they need to be. Now, unfortunately, with the governor's veto pen, he made some drastic changes to that transportation package that we sent him. He vetoed $15 million for the local road improvement program. And this is a program that is primarily used for townships throughout the state to maintain their roads. He also vetoed a provision that I had authored with State Representative Tony Kurtz that we would have created a new scholarship program for dentists that go and practice in rural areas. We have 38 counties in the state of Wisconsin that have a shortage of dentists. And we want to make sure that Wisconsinites, no matter where you live, if it's in Adams County, Jackson County, Ashland County, Bayfield, that you have access to good oral health care. So even though these provisions were taken out, we are committed to ensure that rural Wisconsin is not left behind. And the budget that was signed in the law made some significant investments for rural Wisconsin. And I'm looking forward to doing even more in the future. Thank you.